inside and pull the stick back. And he beats him, but he had stepped in the crease. One more look. Sets him up for a strong right-handed move, and now comes in one-on-one -on -one with Cowie. Power play opportunity now for the next 20 seconds. The Hall of Famer, Alexander the major into a lacrosse league. Sports fans from all over the world have that one special team they love to hate. Being from Philadelphia, we have plenty of teams we love to hate. In 1987, the New Jersey Saints, the Baltimore Thunder, the Philadelphia Wings, and the Washington Wave comprised the first four franchises in the Major Indoor Lacrosse League. In 1989, the Saints moved from the Meadowlands to the Nassau Coliseum. Turbos and the New England Blazers were also introduced into the league, and in 1990, the Wave moved from Washington to Pittsburgh and became the Pittsburgh Bulls. In 1991, the arrival of Paul and Gary Gate to Detroit raised a lot of eyebrows. And prior to the 1992 season, things were going to get a bit interesting. The people, when they say new franchises, they say, well, three, four, five years down the road. We're going after it the first year, and I think we've got enough talent over there to do it all the way for the bandits. Thanks a lot. If McCready was right about one thing, they changed the way the game was played. With the likes of John Tavares, Troy Cordingly, Stu Aird, Bill Geary, Ross Cowie, and the Kilgore brothers, the Canadian invasion was dead on. So when it came time for the 1992 championship game, the Wings played host to the Buffalo Bandits. Wings fans were about to find out exactly how dead on Buffalo really was. Wings were playing a spirited game in the first half, controlling play throughout. And then that all changed with one shot. Now for the next 20 seconds, the Hall of Famer, Alexander Elliott's mask right off. And Elliott may be hurt. I have never seen this in the major into a lacrosse league. Unbelievable. A 
shot that was probably over 100 miles an hour just ripped the face mask off Elliot. And he's down, knocked him unconscious for a few moments. Look at him. He's saying, man, that one was a bullet. He looked it right in the eyes. And now the trainer making sure he is okay. Matt Key's on the sideline. Elliot came back and tried to play through a concussion, but it was not meant to be. Back and forth, both teams went through the second half, playing dead even. What the Philadelphia fans were witnessing was the birth of a rivalry. With one final shot in overtime, the rivalry between Philadelphia and Buffalo is signed, sealed, and delivered. With the arrival of Paul and Gary Gate to Philadelphia in 1993, the rivalry between Buffalo and Philadelphia just went from bad to worse. And with the Bandits going unbeaten in 1993, the championship game in Buffalo was dead on. Just like the 1992 championship, this game in Buffalo was on an even keel. Just like the 1992 championship, this game was going to go right down to the wire.
And yet again, the championship was decided on one last shot. Buffalo Bandits back to back champions. Coming into the 1994 season, nothing changed. Philadelphia was Philadelphia, Buffalo was Buffalo, and there was no love lost whatsoever. From the midway point of the 1992 season, Buffalo had racked off 22 straight wins. Boston Blazers brought to an end in February of 94. And up until this point against Buffalo, the Wings were shut out every single time. With the monkey off their back and their first victory achieved, the Philadelphia Wings were setting up for an epic 1994 showdown in the championship in Buffalo. Philadelphia, we're going for the three-peat, and this man right here is going to make it all happen. When you score an unprecedented 26 goals in a championship game, which is still the record today, you roll tape. Wings totally outgunned, outclassed, and outmaneuvered the bandits through the entire game. The Gate brothers were unstoppable. Total team effort and a total team victory. These are the sparks that lit the fire under one of the hottest rivalries in pro lacrosse. The Philadelphia Wings and the Buffalo Bandits. Thanks for joining us.